In a couple of our previous videos, we talked about two of the world's most important nuclear treaties, the NPT and the CTBT. Finally, in this video, we're going to talk about our most recent one, the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons. The Prohibition Treaty was introduced in 2017, and it seeks to ban nuclear weapons altogether, which is a similar goal to that of the NPT. The Prohibition Treaty, though, is designed to be more concrete than its predecessor, replacing good faith efforts with actual time-bound plans. Specifically, the treaty prohibits any nuclear weapons testing, development, manufacturing, storage, or possession. It even prohibits threats of nuclear attack. The treaty also states that nations cannot assist or encourage any other nation with regards to any of these illegal nuclear activities. Nations that currently possess their own nuclear weapons or store nuclear weapons belonging to other countries can join the treaty as long as they agree to a specific time-bound plan to eliminate them. The treaty also states that member nations must assist victims of nuclear weapons attacks and testing and must also work to address radiological contamination of affected environments. Like the CTBT, the Prohibition Treaty still hasn't entered into force. It requires 50 states to ratify it, and at the time of this video's creation, only 11 nations have done so. That said, the treaty is still quite young, so there is hope that it'll enter into force sometime in the near future. Perhaps we should be more worried about the fact that none of the nine states currently possessing nuclear weapons support the treaty. None of them were involved in treaty negotiations, and some of them have explicitly declared that they will never join the treaty, putting its potential benefits in doubt. But that's not what the 2017 Nobel Peace Prize Committee thought. They gave the prestigious award to the International Campaign to Abolish Nuclear Weapons, or ICANN, for groundbreaking efforts to achieve a treaty-based prohibition of nuclear weapons. Unfortunately, this is the end of our mini-series on nuclear treaties. But if you enjoyed these videos, be sure to like and subscribe. For more great K equals 1 project content, check out our other videos and visit our website at www.k1project.columbia.edu. Thanks, we'll see you next time.